Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to use continuous integration with GitHub and Heroku. We're going to be creating a Node application, but this should work for any programming language and any application in Heroku. So let's get started. We're going to create our Node application with npm init. We're going to use all the defaults. And we're going to install one dependency called Express. We're going to create two files, one called dot git ignore and the other called server.js. Inside our server.js file, the first thing we're going to require is express. Then we're going to initialize our app using express. We're going to define our port. If there's a port in an environment variable, use that. Otherwise, we're going to use port 5000. Then we're going to listen with our app on that port. Take a callback function where we can just print listening on and then our port. So now that that's done, we're just going to create a script, which is going to be start. And this script is just going to run node server.js. From here, we can run npm start, just to make sure everything's working. And we can see, yeah, listen in 5,000. The next thing we can do is app.get. And we're going to get just the root and from here we get a request we get a response and we're just going to send a response we're going to send some json back that just says okay true we're going to stop our application and start it again and then if you visit localhost 5000 we can see that our application is working correctly so now that we know that, we're going to push this to GitHub. We're going to create a rep repository called My App. And we're going to copy this git remote add here with the address. And now from the terminal, we're going to stop our application and say git init. Uh, we also need to add the files to the git ignore that we don't want to push. We don't want to push the node modules and we don't want to push the package lock.json. So we save that, we run git status and we can see we have these three files that we want to push. So we're going to add them all, we're going to commit and I'm going to push to the master. First of all, we need to add the origin so this command that we copied, we can just paste that in. And then we can push to the master. If we go back to GitHub and refresh, we can see that now all of our files are here. So now we can create our application in Heroku. So we go to apps. If you haven't signed up, sign up. And we're going to create a new app. And this will just give us a random name. So we're going to do that. And then under the deploy tab, we're going to connect to GitHub. And as you can see, we have my GitHub username here. We can just search for my app. And we can connect to this repository. And we're going to enable automatic deploys. If you have a continuous integration, like tests using Jenkins or Travis, you can enable that. But we're just going to enable automatic deploys and we're going to deploy the master branch. As you can see, it's building here. It's installing our node modules and it has succeeded. So now in a second, you're going to be able to see that our app was successfully deployed. We can open it here. And we can see that now from Heroku, our application is running. 
and we've enabled automatic deploys. So if we go back to GitHub and open the server.js file, we can edit this and we can change OK to false. And we're just going to commit directly to the master branch. And if we go over to overview and refresh, we can see that now the build is in progress again. Even though we didn't actually do anything from Heroku, this build was triggered because we pushed to the master branch. So if we look at the, uh, we don't even need to look at it. We can see that it was deployed. And if we refresh, we can see that this has been updated. So now that we have this application, we want to add it to a pipeline. And this is going to be our staging application in the pipeline. So to do that, we're going to click this drop down more and we're going to add to pipeline. We're going to create a new pipeline, just call it my app. And we're going to add this app to staging. So this is our pipeline. We're going to add an application to production. And again, we're just going to choose any random name that it's going to give us and we're going to create our application. So if we open this app in the browser, we can see that there's actually nothing here yet until we click this promote to production button. And this is going to promote our sandbox or staging application to production. And we can see it was deployed really nice and quickly because it was already built from our staging application. If we refresh this now, we can see that it has the same code as the staging application. So that's a really simple pipeline setup. And now we're going to look at review apps. So these are really handy uh, if you are working with multiple people and people are making pull requests. And if you want to spin up a new application anytime someone makes a pull request, this is where you'd use that. So if we click this enable review apps button, then we can create this app.json file that just defines what we need for our review apps. And we're going to commit this to the repo. We're going to create new review apps for new pull requests automatically. And we're going to destroy stale review apps um, after five days. We're going to enable this. And we can see here now that we have this review app section that's telling us that there are no open pull requests. If we go back to our code here and we want to edit this file and we're just going to give something else back in the JSON. We're going to say text and it worked. And instead of committing directly to the master branch, we're going to create a new branch for this commit and open a pull request. Whenever we open this pull request, we can see that it hasn't been deployed yet. But we can see in Heroku, in our pipeline, that there is a review app being created. And now we can see that it has been deployed. It's currently pending. It's being built. And now we can open this app in the browser. And we can see that our changes have now been made. So we have this text field that says hello world. If we merge this pull request, which will mean it's being merged from this branch into master, this is going to trigger a build on our staging application. And we can see it's now being built. And our application has now been released to our staging application. So if we open that in the browser, we can see that it now has the changes. And now we want to promote this to production. And we can see that it's now been released. If we open this production app, we can see that it now has the changes. So this has been how to use continuous integration using GitHub and Heroku with a simple node application. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments and I'll see you next time.